Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestar.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is an easy stick pouch, um, a purse. I don't know what you'd call it. It's very simple. It uses one piece of adhesive to keep it closed, um, ribbon to tie it there, and actually you open it at the bottom. Now I first developed and designed this style of box or bag, box bag, back in 2013. And actually one of my very first projects was a variant of this and I have continued to go on and design lots of different sizes. And this is one that I made, I wanna say about three years ago but I'm just recreating it for you today. And it's simply about showcasing this beautiful, beautiful paper, Forever Greenery, the Forever um, Gold. They're laser cut pieces and they're gold one side, white on the other side. And I just love that beautiful, soft gold. It's not, it's not, I don't know what the word is, hard, harsh, bright, just lovely. And my pieces, this is not all of them. This is only some of them. Let me get the other one got two boxes full this was a brilliant tip from Janet Wakeland a, a, an American demonstrator so all of the pieces they come as 12 by 12 sheets and I have simply popped them out and put them into our large wood mount cases so they come empty as a pack of four and I can just easily get at them and it means that I haven't got issue with where I'm storing them so these are the ones that you would maybe put a sentiment over the top or would make a card base that's those ones in there and then these ones are the sort of frondy bits so you can see it's gold one side and white on the other love it let's show you how to make this so you need a piece of cardstock six by 11 inches and which is 28 by 15 centimeters on the long side score it at one five and a quarter six and a quarter, ten and a half inches, which in metric is two and a half, thirteen and a half, sixteen and twenty-seven. On the long side, we're going to part score it down to about, yeah, about, about the three and a half inch mark. Part score it at half an inch and five and three quarters. So just down to about there. So that's about about nine centimeters. So just part score it and then turn it round so that end is to the right. And on the short side, score it at half an inch, one and a half inches, half an inch, one and a half, four and a half, and four and three quarters, <clears throat> which again in metric, Oh, I forgot to tell you the metric. You're doing that one at one and a quarter and that one at 14 and three quarters. So sorry, metric folk. It's all written down on my blog. You'll find it there. On the short side, you're scoring it at one centimetre, three and a half, 11 centimetres and 11 and a half. Okay. Oh, I just went to put this on the floor and missed and hit the table. And it's now fallen on the floor. <laughs> I've leaned it up against my up against my desk and it slipped okay let's get this all burnished oh I forgot to, oh, it's forgetful day today where we've part scored you need to put in triangle diagonal lines from the bottom of that part scored part <clears throat> part scored part down to where the by where your previous scored lines bisect I will show you when it's done. So just there. So this is my part score coming all the way down and then I put it into there because that's where my score lines cross. Right, let's carry on burnishing. And apparently ripping our grid paper. Look at that. If it's not grid paper, it's my nails. They are weak as anything, my nails right now. Okay, last one done. Right, so I'm just positioning myself on my chair a little better. It's like I'm pulling up my sleeves to give instructions. Okay, this thin panel here, this thin one, 
is what is going to be the back so that's going to come around and be the back we need to hang on to this one here but get rid of all of the rest down to the second score line so you can see i've got two there so there's my big scissors here they are a pair of my big scissors i'm now down to one <laughs> so get rid of that so that is both parts and all the way along if you're not brave with scissors you can use your trimmer you're actually allowed to use anything you like <laughs> that's it i'm giving you permission to use your trimmer you can cut it however you fancy <laughs> that's the back and this is going to fold around so this therefore becomes the front okay so i'm going to cut straight there and wedge my square and nick off that bit okay so that's wedged there I'm going to do the same on this one but I'm going to turn it over so I can see a little better this bit we can get rid of all of that so it's almost as a case of we're doing opposites on different sides oh another bit to get rid of and that bit there okay so this is my thin part over here that's going to be the front that's going to fold over and this bit is what's going to tuck away so before i forget let me get my corner rounder I need to round the extremities of these bits that's a very big word isn't it extremities those outer bits so that's the front and then these bits here all done okay so my designer series paper i've got two tiny little bits that's it so this one is uh one oh, let's try that again one inch by four inches this one is one and five eighths of an inch by four inches and in centimeters this is three centimeters by ten and a half and this is three and a half by ten and a half that's not right it's about four and a half actually need to round off the corners off here as well and you can now see where these panels are going to go so this one's going to fit on here so that's my seal and this one here is actually you've got to sort of faux fold it up so to speak it's going to fit on there but at the bottom so again a bit more seal so again opposite corner and down at the bottom okay right let's get some holes in this bit and I'm just going to grab a hole punch there and there I don't know what's happened down underneath where I'm sat right now, but I hope my husband's okay. He's in the garage right now. So I'm just positioning it over so that I can mark a hole there and there. Punch holes there. And there right I had fun and games when I was putting this together because I sealed it all up and then decided I was going to put tiny little spindly ribbon so we're not going to do that this time around. we're going to do it the easy way around so have a length there it's probably way too much but you know I just need to show you how to do it. 
So that is coming from the inside going out. It's going to lay away for a second while I get some adhesive on here. So I'm going to use Seal Plus. I am going to use Seal Plus. There we go. So that is my one strip of adhesive to keep this closed. And that's it. Fold in my two sides, tuck in the bottom. <laughs> because I handily put this in first, I can now simply feed it through. Oh, I need to nick off the hand again. It likes to fray. Oh, it really likes to fray. I haven't even got it through the hole. It's <laughs> just trying to pull apart. Let's go this way through. I didn't have this much trouble before. Oh, for goodness sake. I knew there was a reason why I cut loads off. pushing your sides where we did those part scores and this bit at the top is like a I don't know it's like a gusset I suppose it just means that you don't get a crinkled close I don't know if that's a technical word or not but a crinkled close so I'm tying a double knot first because this ribbon doesn't need to be undone can put a bow on and given the length of ribbon I'm going to make it a nice big flouncy bow there we go and then all I want to do now to finish get some of these gorgeous pieces so I've got a wreath here I've got gigantic fern I've got I like that one I like that one and I like that one which are they the same ones I used no different ones this time so what I'm going to do with this one I'm using mini glue dots and I'm going to put that one over the top of that and stick it to my grid paper then I'm going to hide a glue dot behind one of those leaves that's going to go over that and that's completely hidden whoops all the glue dots now and all I want to do now is discreetly tuck them behind leaves onto varying parts and I can pop that on there and that I think is a lovely little purse I think it's really sweet. I hope you like it too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.